Thanks for tuning in, and if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, don't forget to smash that like button. So the grinder is fully assembled. I've got it uh, connected over here to the mill to my uh, rotary converter, the VFD I was hoping to utilize simply isn't powerful enough for the uh, two horsepower motor. Runs pretty true. 
Uh, it does have some uh, slight tracking issues. I think I'm going to have to make some adjustments to this platen. Uh, I have not yet made an adjustment uh, knob for this. Uh, I do have a, obviously a, a way to tension the belt by pulling it off there. This is in the vertical arrangement. Uh, it's got this adjustable table for the plans. This will move in and out and adjust to 45 or 90. And it obviously goes up and down as well. So it's got the full functionality there. It does move to the horizontal. Um, I'm gonna lock in there. Obviously the uh, tables will move right up next to it. This is nice and square. Got a couple different tables I can utilize uh, depending on uh, what we're trying to accomplish. That's the adjustable table. This is the tight tolerance table. The one that will go all the way around the, uh, go around the belt if need be as well. So tighten down here. So we've got a couple of different options for uh, grinding surfaces. Uh, real happy with the build. Um, <clears throat> I did build a purpose-built uh, stand here. I do have some wheels I'd like to assemble on it, but I want it to be uh, flat to the ground and then uh, be able to engage the wheels to move it around. So that's kind of phase two, but I did want to get it up and running. Runs nice and smooth with the converter. Um, I haven't ground anything on it yet, but um, thanks for tuning in.